welcome to my review of the Lego Brickheads 40482 Hamsters. Now this is a set that came out earlier in the year, part of their Pets sub-theme of Brickheads. So let's check it out. It comes with two hamsters, like all the pets that do. An adult one and a baby one? They actually call it baby hamster, so I guess it's baby. And a stand. So it's the same as the cats and the goldfish, which I've previously looked at. Let's start with the big hamster. Here it is. It actually looks really good, especially the cheeks and how this whole area came together. It's built, oops, oops, it's built very well up in this whole area. It really, um, you don't think it's going to look good until it does because when you're building it, they don't have you put the spit on for a while. And it, oh, oh. I also really like how they have done the nose. That is very clever. But they don't have you put the spit on until the end and it looks... Slightly strange. <laughs> but also we like how this shaping came about. That's very clever. Use of parts. Um, it's got kind of a little double hands here. Which this one is holding something. I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. I was thinking about this for a while. Before I started this review. And I really... I don't know what that is. So if you know, please put it in the comments. That would be handy. Um, but a little tail at the back. <laughs> I don't know if you can even really call that a tail, but it does look good. Overall, the whole thing does look very good. Um, yeah. So let's look at the little one now. Here is the little one, which is built in a very similar way. Uses quite a few of the same pieces and still looks very good. Um, it's got, again, like little arms, kind of things that it can hold on to. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, it it doesn't particularly look like a <laughs> baby hamster, but, you know, it's very sweet, and, yeah. This is the first of these pet sets that I've done where the two don't exactly look completely realistic. For example, the cats, they looked, they look, they look like they could have actually been cats, well, sort of, kind of, but that's not, yeah, anyway. Um, yes, so the other two are, they scale well to each other, and they look very, very similar, which is nice. I wish they had included some tiles to tile off the, um, the top of that one, but, you know, it's okay. Here is the stand, which is just exactly the same as all the other stands they've done, really. I mean, the slight difference with the use of these pieces instead, but it's very minimal. But on the front, there is a sticker there which they were as they usually do give you an ultimate sticker so you could have that on there instead but that's really it however i'm not that happy with this base compared to some of the other ones because if we get them in oh, i always this one goes on here and that's how it goes in the instructions right so it's feet are just off those green plates then you put this one on and they are only just missing in the instructions, it looks like a much bigger gap, but they are very close. And if you misplace either, the, actually, I just did. That's actually how they're supposed to be. They're even closer. That's how they're supposed to be. But if you misplace this one too far back, it's actually even better. But if you misplace this one too, oh, there was at one point where they wouldn't fit because they were hitting. I don't know why that was. Okay, well, it does work. It's just slightly close. Like, the cats and the fish were much further apart, but they were much thinner. Um, you know, animals, <laughs> units, they were much, they weren't as thick. So that's probably why. And they made all the base plates the same size, so they'd all kind of fit together. So, um, yeah. So all the spare parts. There's nothing very interesting here to comment on, apart from this, which is that kind of... I don't even know how you describe that, but it's the piece where you can go from like a minifigure hand size or mini, is it mini clip they're called? I can't remember. But to a stud, which is quite a useful piece and it's in clear. Here is the sticker sheet as well. Go, go, get out of the way. Get out of the way. There. So only two stickers, so pretty simple. And just a quick thing that was interesting. You might be wondering why this is here. Um, the... Inside the large hamster, there is a 2x2 two two pink brick. 
um, that's supposed to represent his brain. They always do this in the Brickhead sets. It's quite an interesting Easter egg for the builder. But this is the one that came in this set, and you can see it's damaged fairly badly. It still connects just, but it's very tight. Um, so I, it would have actually worked. It would have been able to build the set, but I just substituted one of my own bricks in. Um, but just thought that was interesting. It's probably the most damaged brick I've ever had come in a Lego set. So, just find that interesting. Anyway, overall, I do like this set. Um, it's probably not my favourite of the Brickhead sets I've already looked at. I think that honour would probably go to the cat. The short hair cat set I looked at at the beginning of the year. But I still do like them. And I, I, they're, yeah, they're good. A good build. Um, yes, well designed and... Yeah. Oh good, I did realise when I said about the stands that there's some curved ones. I forgot about that. The cats had a curved one. There's some more of the Brookhead sets. I'm going to plan to look at them at some point. So, I like this one. The price seems fine. Um, it's the same as the other Brookhead pet sets. So, nothing really to complain about. So, um, yes, thank you very much for watching. If you're in the United States, have a nice Thanksgiving. And I will talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.